like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. I hope you all are having a truly, truly fantastic day today on this Monday. Fanboys, this is another LeBron video, so go ahead and click off. We don't need to hear your complaining. I don't need to hear about how many LeBron James videos I do. Uh, just go ahead and click off. Save, save us all the misery. Um, <laughs> so the other night, I was uh, falling asleep, the TV on with, with YouTube playing, and something interesting came across my news feed. The title of the video read, An Inside Look of Coach LeBron James at the Lakers Facility. And I was like, hmm, that's that's interesting. Let, let, let me see what this is about. And so I click on it, and uh, apparently I'm not, I guess it's a snippet, or maybe it's the whole documentary. Maybe it was like a mini doc or, or whatever. Not sure, but in, it was the title of it is called Wired. And it's called Wired because I guess LeBron James uh, is wired with the microphone so that you can hear all the insightful stuff that he says, you know, <laughs> during the practice, before practice, after practice, you know, doc about LeBron James. Um, but yeah, very appropriate title. So it's LeBron James and it's showing the, the Lakers practice and Pretty much LeBron James is running the practice. I mean, it was, to me, it's kind of disturbing. And so LeBron James, you know, is directing everybody. Occasionally you see Darvin Ham pop in there and say something. But to me, it very much appears that LeBron James is in control of the practice. And at some point, I remember seeing a clip from... Uh, I guess they interviewed D'Lo, and D'Lo said something to the effect that, you know, when, when your star player knows more than half the coaches and, and most of the players, you know, you, you, you should utilize that. And it, to, to me, this is just a very bad look. Uh, to me, first of all, if your players look to your star player more so than they do the coach, that, that's very problematic. And it made me think about, you know, clips you may have seen over the years of different teams practicing, whether it's the Lakers, you know, uh, watching the last dance with Chicago, you know. Michael Jordan, despite being the GOAT, you know, despite being the GOAT, no matter how bad you fanboys want to uh, want that not to be the case, unfortunately, you know, 70% of the people <laughs> do not agree with you. But Michael Jordan, you could tell that he followed Phil Jackson. Like, you could tell head coach Phil Jackson was the head of the team, so to speak. And because of that, that brings trust to the team. You know, that brings more chemistry to the team. You know, in any, again, if you have a business where one of your employees has more power than the manager, how can that business really function? It doesn't matter what that employee thinks he knows, or even theoretically if, if the employee know, knows more than the manager. Just the fact that to have employees looking up to another employee more so than the manager is problematic. That business is not going to be able to function. And to me, this is another reason why LeBron James has six finals losses. Is he's not coachable. Uh, you know, to me, the, the thing is, is, if you're a star player and you disagree with the coach or you have ideas for the coach or how things should be run, to me, that's something to be discussed not in front of the team. Something to be dis discussed not in front of the team but in front of the team, the head coach should always look like the head coach. Like everyone is taking orders, including your star player. Like this is how you build trust for the team. Um, but yeah, so now I'll, I'll be fair in saying this. Hey, who knows? This is a documentary. Maybe it was edited uh, for LeBron James' own self-praise. <laughs> 
to to make him to help uh boost the idea about he's has such a high IQ that he's pretty much the coach of the Lakers. But I think we all know that this is what it is. I mean, for my for goodness sakes, Darvin Ham is signed to Clutch Sports. Again, that should be a conflict of interest. So yeah, the, the fact that LeBron James is running this practice uh is is pretty much the coach is problematic. And again, I think you know, the Lakers have a better record without LeBron James, more so than they do without Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is more important to the Lakers. And I think that says something, that the, the Lakers are more successful without LeBron. But why is that? Because there's a, a lot that comes along with LeBron James. First of all, again, you got to think about the fact that if LeBron James in the game, you're going to be playing four on five defense a lot of the times. You got to think about the fact that LeBron James stagnates the offense. But the other thing you have to think about is that without LeBron James, Darvin Ham actually gets the coach. <laughs> he actually gets the coach. You know, without LeBron James out there probably undermining everything that he does. And, and then, so the other thing with this, the other thing with seeing this documentary, and uh, if any of you guys have seen this documentary, let, let, let me know in the comments. Um, the other thing with seeing this documentary was seeing how much control LeBron James has in the organization. LeBron James has as the so-called coach. Again, the, the name of the video, Inside Look of Coach LeBron, <laughs> um, is... It contradicts this whole narrative that they want to put out about no help. Again, for LeBron James' entire career, again, fanboys, you guys really need to do some soul searching to uh, try to understand how you can give this guy a pass, how you can keep promoting these narratives about LeBron James has had no help when he's chosen. He's chosen his teammates, his coaches. He's chosen where he wanted to play. But the real narrative is LeBron James is not coachable. Has nothing to do with the coaches LeBron James has had. It has everything to do with LeBron James doesn't know how to be the leader of a team because the real leader of a team understands that he needs to report to the coach. I mean, Michael Jordan has said that. Again, I believe it was, and I'm going to do some videos off of Michael Jordan in this Luke Longley documentary because Michael Jordan said a lot of great things in that documentary. But I think he, he said one of the things, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but he said it was important for him to follow Phil Jackson so that the rest of the players would do so, so that you get everybody in line following w one person. LeBron James is not coachable. That should be the narrative, not he hasn't had great coaches. Again, so su supposedly LeBron James makes his teammates better. Well, if you truly make your teammates better, how is it possible <laughs> that you always need more help? Someone, anyone, please, please explain that to me. Just, I mean, just fanboys, it really needs to be you guys because... You are the only ones who believe this crap. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> You guys are the only ones who truly believe that in 21 years, now fanboys, in 21 years of an NBA career, LeBron James has only had enough help when he wins, but whenever he loses, he doesn't have enough help? Surely that ha has to sound illogical to you. But yeah, so again, you know, we gonna hold up here. But again, like I said, I, I just saw this video and to me, it's just another thing that confirms the things that we've all been saying about LeBron James. You know, he's the coach of the Lakers, <laughs> which is why when LeBron James sits out, the, the Lakers do better amongst uh, a host of other reasons. But he's the coach of the Lakers. 
So they shouldn't be talking about uh, what Darvin Ham. Uh, they shouldn't be talking about getting rid of Darvin Ham. It's like if you want to get rid of the the real coach, get rid of LeBron James, and not want. Not only will you get rid of the the bad coach, but you also get rid of the person who doesn't play defense. <laughs> And who stagnates your offense. Like, you, you'll get rid of a lot of problems if you get rid of LeBron James. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have any of you seen the documentary Wired? Have any of you seen the clip that says inside look of Coach LeBron James? And what do you think about that? Do you think it looks like LeBron James has too much control in the team and that he is not following the actual coach? And do you think that is bad for team chemistry? That is bad for building team trust? Or do you think it is perfectly fine that LeBron James has so much uh, control over the team? Or, you know, option three. Maybe you think, hey, it was just edited that way, you know, so that LeBron James can heap some more praise on his theoretical IQ and <laughs> and whatnot and and I'm just over exaggerating but uh anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments you all have a truly fantastic day and I'll see you next time all right